Sergeant Lucas Healy, Corporal Darren Banley and Lance Corporal Tom Clifton. According to the Army press release, they were all killed by roadside IEDs in Helmand. In the truth? They were murdered by a heroin trafficker for trying to wreck his crop. Sorry. Afghanistan's a little off my patch. We're certain that he's British and operates from the UK. We need to deal with him. Can't do anything public. Can't let the Muesli Brigade get hold of this. But the only way that these boys get justice is if you step up to the penalty spot. The answer is still no. You're MI6, you deal with it. Don't you think you owe me? The Mercer disobeying my request in prison? You know, it's a strange thing, but some debts bother me less than others. Len, let me put this another way. Boland is gone. A lot of people never accepted the need for a deniable unit. They've been waiting for something like this to happen and they can't wait to take you down. So, unless you are willing to win a few new friends, your future is looking very brief. to pay your respects and come for answers about what Gideon Stone according to you a complete unknown but according to us a trained army professional <laughs> I'm sorry Lenny you don't seem to be on the same page all right why don't I walk over there and tell Tommy Clifton's mother who really killed him and that I'm the man you've hired to deal with it it would be worth it just to wipe that smug grin off your face Gideon Stone is ex-SAS. I gathered that much. This stuff is classified, Lenny. I didn't have to tell you any of it. Apparently, he was tasked to the MI6 in Afghanistan to help coordinate local opposition to the Taliban. God knows who was running him, but they had no idea how cosy he'd got with the poppy growers. Three months ago, he deserted and turned to trafficking. And your solution was to tell me some sob story about British soldiers not getting justice. All that is true. Look, unless someone does deal with him, more soldiers are going to get killed on his fields and more of his cheap smack will flood into London. OK, I've thrown you a curveball. But unless you send it into the stands, Stone will wreak havoc that will make this look like a garden fate. You should have called me, Lenny. You know, call me old-fashioned, but when it comes to traffickers, I like to shut them down, not help them build their business. It was 360-degree thinking. The government destroyed my budget. But I knew that Stone's work against the Taliban was crucial. So you encouraged them to use his poppy contacts to fund it? And I don't have to apologise to you for it. You know, I thought I'd seen the worst of what you management types could offer. But you're a whole new breed of bureaucratic pond life. I don't expect you to understand. After all, I'm not fingering small-time crooks. It's trying to change the direction of the war. No, you were looking for promotion. You don't bother me again. Because if you do, I will not hesitate to show your bosses every word I found in Stone's laptop. I need that laptop, Lenny. Or what? You're going to blackball me from the club. You still don't get it, do you? You still think that I'm your biggest problem. But I've worked with Stone, and I know how ruthless he is. you've lost none of your charm.
token of recognition of all that you've done for us. You want me to disappear? I think that would be in both our interests. Have you ever seen a ten-year-old girl get her hands blown off, trying to pull her brother from the wreckage of a school? A school you guided bombers to because the intelligence officer you worked for insisted it was a Taliban hideout. It's a war. The stakes happen. I was an SAS officer, and you made me do that. You made me fund that with drug money. And I do what I do now because nothing can make me feel that dirty again. Gideon. And once I've killed your errand boys, I'm going to come back and kill you. Yes, Simmons. Well, I think it's fair to say your unit played a blinder. Mm. You want to dance? Thank you, Lenny. I want to make sure our business is settled. After this, nobody owes anyone anything. Well, it's not how I'd like it. I think there's a great match between your skill set and mine. But if that's what you really want... It's not going to blow up when I open it, is it? Sadly not. <laughs> Don't forget our deal, Lattie. 